Do you make regular visits to the chiropractor? Maybe you need something adjusted or maybe something just needs to be popped right back in place. With us today is Dr. Adam of Phosphine and Wellness to tell us about why we might want to start bringing our kids along with us to the chiropractor. Now this isn't necessarily a new idea to have your kids seeing a chiropractor, but I thought it was a, a nice topic to revisit, especially since we're seeing right here a picture of that's a pretty little baby. So do you yes. see kids at your practice? We do. Um, and, you know, we see lots of kids. We see all age ranges. And, and that's the fun part is, um, you know, me personally, I've seen a, a baby at a few weeks old, baby Claire. Um, and I've also seen patients in their 90s. So it's uh, quite the age range and it makes practice that much more fun when you're able to see that wide spectrum of, of clients. And so then at a few weeks old, what, what are the parents bringing the, the child in for? And what are, what are you doing with the child? Really good question. What parents usually decide to bring um, infants in for is one just to get checked you know the birth process is a little traumatic for, uh, for a child <laughs> very um, traumatic for right. everyone involved yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not just the child right? not just the baby <laughs> um, so a lot of parents just want to have their baby checked over objective findings is making sure that hey things are the way they're supposed to be and, and things are moving and functioning the way that they should as well um, with infants that young a lot of times colic where babies are just kind of fussy and really uncomfortable they're not able to tell mom, hey, this hurts. Um, so parents like to bring kids in, just get them checked out to make sure that things are moving and functioning the way they should. And a lot of times kids are happier that way. So when you're talking about colic, and you said three weeks here, is that about the earliest? Or what is, you know, what's the age range? You can uh, be seen by a chiropractor from day one. Day one. Um, Stop by your office on the, before you go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And a lot of people get nervous um, when they think about infants in chiropractic, but the truth of it is a chiropractic adjustment on an infant doesn't take much more pressure than checking the ripeness of a tomato or avocado at a grocery store. Just being really precise and kind of feeling that segment and encouraging that segment to how it should move and, and how that rotation should be. And so besides colic, are there other things that kids will come in uh, that they have maybe like a, a medical issue that they're having that you can kind of supplement maybe a treatment that they're on? Yeah, um, there's a wide range of things that we see kids for. Um, colic being one of them, uh, a really popular one is ear infections, other ones being bedwetting, constipation, this basic growth and development that parents are, are curious about, um, scoliosis, it's a really wide range that we see in, in kiddos. You know, it, it, it makes sense, I, I guess, but you know, the same things and issues that an adult would have, kids would have too, I don't know why you would think you can't see a chiropractor until you're 18. I mean different points in your as you grow and your body is changing is that when it's most beneficial as well I mean after the colicky baby yeah I would imagine the growth spurts are can be an issue right exactly and we do see plenty of um, kind of the adolescent age where moms and dads will notice the kids complaining of these different growth pla growth uh, pains and those pains are something that can be relieved um, with that adjustment and making sure that things are working the way they should as well you talked about the very light pressure uh, for an infant. Um, does it change for, you know, some of these pictures, kids, we're seeing toddlers, you know, two, three, four, five, seven-year-olds. What kind of pressure and adjustments do you on, on a child like that? Right. Um, as we get a little bit older, our body develops a little bit more where we're able to um, vary in force and vary in the, the pressure that we're using. Um, obviously, with a 10-year-old like we see here, um, the pressure with her is going to be a little bit more than a three-week-old and just kind of varies on that that range as we get older and older and so are all chiropractors able to do this or did you have to get like some special training in this or you know how'd you go about kind of doing this not all chiropractors choose to see uh, pediatrics uh, we do at our office just because it really uh, lightens up the day and, and brings fun to it there are some different special trainings that you uh, some chiropractors do do to be able to kind of hone in and specialize a little bit more with what they're seeing those kids for um, yeah, not all chiropractors do choose to, to see it, so it's always a good question to ask. Do you see sports injuries with kids? I mean, I know I, just the older you get, if you try to do any sports, you have injuries, but kids also can deal with some things when they're playing sports as well. Yeah, um, you know, especially in today's age, it seems like kids really don't have a night off. They're playing in so many different activities um, all year round. And we do see plenty of different injuries, um, ranging from neck injuries with concussions um, to just your basic sprained ankle that happens very frequently on and off the field. Um, one thing we do at our office is functional movement screens to try to stay ahead of those injuries and almost see where those red flags or susceptibilities are to injuries before the season even starts. All right, Dr. Adams, some good advice. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank you.
Well, coming up on today's show, we check in with Doubting Farms as they have an easy, delicious recipe that doesn't require you to be a master chef.